one of the advantages of working with Moodle is that it uses a weak seek editor, which is the same as what you see is what you get. This editor allows you to make edits and changes without having to write HTML code. Many times in Moodle you'll see this box. This box is the weak seek editor. Here I can type any text I want to, and then change it, bold it if I want to change only a part of it if I want to, create a bulletin list if I want to, underline it if I want to, I can change the size of one of them to a heading if I want to, I can change the size of another, I can select the, the font that I want to use for one. And change the font size. I can change the color of the font. I can highlight it in different colors. It's the, the options that you can do here are almost endless. You can add a table if you want to. Change the properties of the table. You can add an image if you want to. Etc. You can add hyperlinks. Let's add a hyperlink as well. You can add anything you want to pretty much within this box. What's nice about it is that while you're doing all of this, it is writing the HTML code out for you. So it's actually what I've been doing so far. You could drop HTML code here and embedding code, etc. Um, however, for the most part, um, most people just use the Wix getter. I'll show you how to, what I mean by HTML code. So if I went to a YouTube video, I went to their embedding, I copied that. I don't want to drop that here. That wouldn't make, that wouldn't make the video up here. However, if I drop it, in the HTML button, now I have the YouTube video there. So that's when the HTML is actually helpful. But for the most part, just edit it like you're editing a Word document, and that is one of the benefits of having a what you see is what you get editor or the Weeksick editor. Thanks.